Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Daily Healing Inspiration. You are with Tadija Ali, and I am going to pull some cards from our heart of the Psychic Tarot, Psychic Tarot for the Heart Deck, and the Power of Love. So this reading is designed to help you look and to help you look into your relationship and to help you to reflect, to give you some healing advice. But if you're watching this video, see what you can extrapolate on in terms of what may apply to your particular situation. If you have not joined me in your soul tribe on patreon.com slash Tunisia Ali, you need to do so. We just started our 30-day self-love challenge on the heels of an 11-day money manifesting challenge. We get it on over there. We work on getting our coins. We work on up-leveling our mindset. There is exclusive content that is not found on any of my other social media networks. Come and join the family. The information is in the link. So let's take a look at what cards come out that we need to pay attention to. And I may read some of the extended messages. Okay, we have solar plexus chakra. Now it kind of came out upside down, but these this particular deck is not usually read that way. But the solar plexus chakra is the chakra of our personal power. That chakra is at the bottom of the rib cage to right here. Okay, so when we're in our solar plexus energy and that energy is balanced, we feel our personal power, but it's balanced. We're not in the sense of personal power where we're taking advantage of other people, where we're trying to control and dominate a situation. We're in our sense of personal power that allows us to make sure that we do those things that honor us. It allows us to set personal boundaries and it allows us to go after what we want. It is a masculine energy, okay? So this is the energy of of taking what your inspirations are, what your wants and needs and desires are in your relationship and making those things happen, bringing those things into fruition, okay? Let's look at the underlying energy. We have trust, okay? So this is very interesting because this card was upside down and we have trust and I'm gonna read this to you, but this card here lets me know for some of you guys that there's something in your relationship that you need to be willing to take the leap in and it may not necessarily be something that you feel comfortable with, but it's okay for you to trust. It's okay for you to have faith that things will unfold in a way that's going to work out for you. This really is a time for you to approach your relationship almost with the naivete of a child. A child is willing to take the risks in love. A child is willing to be vulnerable, right? A child is willing to look at the relationship through the eyes of possibility without fearfulness. So if your solar plexus energy is causing you to feel fearful or is causing you to take actions that are trying to dominate the situation or bring it into a certain uh, uh, level of alignment that you feel is good for you or what it is you want, if you feel like you're trying to force something, this is a time to release your need to control that relationship and the direction that it's going in, allow things to unfold organically. This is my message to you. Let's read and let's see what we have here. The universe is looking out for you. Now it's time to trust the path that you're on is the right one. Believe that whatever you desire concerning affairs of the heart can be manifested in the proper time and for your highest good. Trusting the universe takes courage, but it also removes the burden of doing it all on your own. When you feel alone in a situation, it can diminish your energy and desire to take actions that will improve the situation. So this card is a reminder that you're not alone and that spirit is there guiding this and that things will unfold in divine timing, but that you can trust the situation that you are in. Um, let's see. In addition to trust, this is the card of action and opportunity. Once we know that the universe has our back, we're free to take that all important leap of faith and pursue our dreams concerning affairs of the heart. Put aside any fear, disillusionment, frustration, or hopelessness and open your heart to what you desire. Now, let me tell you something else about this card that's coming to me as I'm, as I'm, as I'm synthesizing this information and letting my heart be open. This is the opportunity that is being presented to you at this time. You don't want to go into it in this energy. Fear, fearfulness, the need to try to control, um, bringing your past uh, baggage of frustrations into the situation. This is a situation where right now your relationship is calling for you to take the approach of trust 
and belief and fearlessness. When you are in a relationship and you go into it at that level, you release your need to have certain expectations. You release your need to attach to certain outcomes, right? What does that mean? That means that you don't approach the relationship with an energy of desperation. You don't approach the relationship with the need to control the direction of it. You let things very naturally unfold and you are present in the moment because you know that you are not alone, that you are being guided and that if this is the right thing for you, the last thing you want to do is sabotage your chances by bringing the energy of fear, urgency, emotional baggage, control, expectations, and all of this other stuff. So for those of you who are watching this reading, this is a week that you want to relax and you want to just trust what's going on in the relationship. Don't push anything. Just, just be grateful. Just enjoy the moment and just know and feel and accept that for this particular moment, you're on the right track. Pull back, take the edge off, and bring some ease to the situation. And let's take a look at what the power of love has to say. What does the power of love have to say? Okay, here we go. Responsibility. Dun, dun, dun. Energy at the bottom of the deck is what individuality. You leave your unique stamp on of love on everything that you do. Okay, so for responsibility, we have you are aware of the power of your thoughts and the amount of love you express. This is a time you got to think positive, okay? Because if you have negative thoughts about the relationship, you can't be free to experience the value that the relationship is actually bringing into your life. You really got to be open to love. You see this picture? She's open to receive love, okay? How can you really allow the love to come into your life if you want to control how it comes in without trusting? Let your heart lead the way. Let me just keep it short. Kiss and keep it simple, stupid. Let your heart lead the way, not your ego and not your mind, and see what happens. For whatever reason, whoever's watching this this week, y'all might be pushing too hard, and you may be allowing negative thinking to stand in the way of a quality experience. So just open your heart up to receive. Trust in the Creator, in the divine, in source, whatever it is that you refer to as that spiritual web that conjoins all of being, trust in that and allow yourself to receive and see what the difference may be this week. Get out of this mental headspace, get out of the place of fear, get out of the place of needing to try to control something and approach a situation with a different energy of positivity, and belief in what is possible. You're with Tanisha Ali, helping you to get clear, to manifest the glory of God that is within you, to up-level your mindset, and to clear and heal emotional and energetic blockages. Join me on Patreon. We are getting in our 30-day self-love challenge, as mentioned before, and would love to have you become a part of our spiritual soul tribe. Come travel the frequency.